Hi, I'm Mark Duclos and welcome along to our Week in Review here at thedogs.com.au and Greyhound Racing New South Wales. It's been a little bit quiet on the racing side of things this week, but as always, there's still plenty of news. And first up, in conjunction with News Corp, we're offering a free 12-month subscription to the Daily Telegraph for the first 1,000 GRNSW members. All you have to do to take advantage of this great offer is go to the news section of thedogs.com.au website, locate the special offer, and if you're one of the first 1,000 to respond, you'll get a 12-month subscription to the Daily Telegraph absolutely free of charge. Now, in more great news for trainers, breeders and rarers, Greyhound Racing New South Wales has partnered with the food supplier Real Pet Supplies in a partnership deal that is aimed at benefiting all New South Wales industry participants. Real Pet Foods has a great range of products that are made locally in Queensland and New South Wales and include biscuits, kibble and mints. And their range is available for purchase at a discounted rate to GRNSW participants at the Richmond Racetrack with plans to enlarge the availability to a number of venues around the state. We're now just a few weeks away from the opening of the state-of-the-art venue at Grafton in the Northern Rivers. The first meeting is slated for Monday, June the 7th. But prior to that, and subject to confirmation from GWIC and the Grafton Race Club, trials will be staged on Thursday, May the 27th. The multi-million dollar investment into the venue by GRNSW has already been lauded by industry participants. And don't forget the big mid-year carnival kicks off on Monday, June the 28th. Now, as we mentioned last week, one of Grafton's favourite sons, Albert Gleeson, has been very ill lately and in a joint effort by GRNSW and the Grafton Club, we're conducting a fundraiser to assist Albert in his rehabilitation following a leg amputation. Thanks to some very generous donations, we are auctioning off a number of stud services. And the first one is to the mighty Magic Sprite, which is a value of $3,500. Bidding is open now and will cease at 6pm this coming Saturday. The opening bid for the Magic Sprite service has already been made at $1,500. Further bids must be made in increments of a minimum of $50. To bid on the Magic Sprite service, just head to the Grafton Greyhound Club Facebook page or you can call the club on 02 3713. Let's head trackside now. We had heats of the Graham Hull Memorial Wagga Cup stage last Friday and Victorian trainers had a night out winning all four qualifiers. The fastest was Usman Bale for Samantha Grenfell, stopping the clock at 30 and 14. Away very quickly also was Usman Bale showing plenty of early pace and as they go down a little bit of drama going out of the straight now and Usman Bale had raced to the lead by two or three lengths now to Spirit of Arlene there followed by Yozo Bale in third getting up on the inside was Blue Tiger followed by Tommy Town a long way back in the race was at the head of the others could be Magic and uh, Tennessee Tigers a mile back but Usman Bale well out in front wins it brilliantly second will go to Yozo Bale third in Tommy Town the $25,000 to the winner final will be held this Friday night. The Jody Lord trained second exit and Winlock on top. The only New South Wales trained greyhounds in the decider. They've come up with boxes six and seven. And fresh off the announcement that Musselbrook has been granted tab status for a number of meetings in the coming year, the 2021 Musselbrook Cup final will be staged this Sunday. Three heats of the Cup were run over the 560 metres last week with Franco Fernando for Tamworth trainer Michael Craig setting the benchmark on the clock in a time of 32.56, the decider this week, providing $5,500 to the eventual winner. <laughs> Young trainer Ricky Brewer had a day and night to remember for the rest of his life when he trained half the card at Bathurst on Monday. Brewer, who has just moved to a new property at Bargo with his family, prepared five of the ten winners as his great run of success in 2021 continues. And that's all we have in this week's edition, but don't forget for all the latest news, feels, form, video previews and free live racing, just head to the dogs.com.au website. It was a night to remember also Adapto last Thursday night. Typhoon Tim equal the 297 metre track record, winning in 1671. But our sports bet run of the week goes to Opal Rocks, who shaved one one hundredth of a second off the 600 metre track record, clocking 3408. Racing. 
Opal Rocks began brilliantly in the centre and is rushing around the outside of Fence Lady. Opal Rocks has taken the lead over Fence Lady. Nangar Russ midfield. Opal Rocks a front runner. Had it by three over Nicolina charging to second. They're followed by Fence Lady. Further back came Top of Phoenix and Bora 10. In front of those was uh, Nangar Rust and Stilton Fergus is near the tail with Top of McGarrett. Opal Rocks let go mid race. Left them lamenting. Nicolina a clear second but Opal Rocks, Rocks is going to walk in. Opal Rocks, a brilliant front running exhibition.